Hey guys, and welcome to your new Laura and Nicholas video. We made it to Bryce Canyon here in the US. So if you've been watching our previous videos, you know that we are on a big three week road trip with Lexus. They gave us a car to road trip with around the US and it's been incredible so far. We're almost coming to the end actually. But yeah, yesterday we made it to Bryce Canyon and it was storming, there was lightning, it was horrible. We, we basically were... almost didn't get out of the car. Yeah, it was crazy. So we couldn't vlog anything. It just didn't make sense. But this morning the weather is a little bit better, so we woke up for sunrise. Well, there's not really a lot of sunrise. It's still a bit cloudy. <laughs> yeah, and Bryce Canyon is just so beautiful with like the bright blue sky and then with like the orange rocks. But yeah, I guess we're not that lucky this time. <laughs> we actually woke up for sunrise to do a hike. We're gonna do a combination of the Navajo Trail and the Queen's Garden. It's about a five kilometer hike in total. So nothing too crazy. Weather is super cool as well. Yeah. A so, bit yeah. too cool. <laughs> It's very Laura's chilly. Freezing. It's very chilly. So yeah, the Navaya Trail is actually one of the most popular ones because it's a very, very short hike that a lot of people do little loop. But we are going to add the Queen's Garden onto it. Because we're just because badass <laughs> like that, you know. All right, let's go. <laughs> Well guys, that was a pretty disappointing sunrise. I mean, it's just so cloudy. But yeah, we're gonna do the hike anyway. It's, the hike is wow. beautiful. Probably one of my favorite hikes in the world. And it's a very easy one. It's just, oh, look at that. Turn around completely, it's beautiful. Wow. wow. <laughs> Feel like such a retard. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. Right. But yeah, let's go. We've been slacking, I haven't seen too many videos. I mean guys, have you ever seen a hike this cool? Look at my little mousey. Okay, so for the first part of the hike, you actually go down and you're surrounded by rocks, as you could just see. Well, that's if you start at sunset point. So we're walking from sunset point to sunrise point. But, but. there's a but. The second part <coughs> is actually in the valley, deep down in the valley between the trees. Very calm, very relaxing, totally different. And then the last part, I don't know what it looks like. It's red rocks again, and then you have to go all the way up again, so... Um, yeah, I think we're halfway actually already. Nice, and I'm not even exhausted. <laughs> Can someone please send help? The first part was so easy because it went straight downhill. But I kind of forgot that if you go downhill, you have to go back uphill as well. I'm dead. We're out but we're shape. almost at the car. <sighs> Finally. <sighs> back in the car. Gonna put the ventilated seats on first to cool down a little. Mm, we put the seat later. heaters on in the morning and then now after our hike, ventilated seats. So cool that we have ventilated seats. But uh, yeah, okay. now we're gonna grab coffee because you already know we need our coffee in the morning and we didn't have coffee this morning. All shops were closed. We didn't have coffee in the room. We tried everything. We went into like other hotels and just every breakfast buffet was still closed. Mm -hmm. So yeah, we hiked without coffee, which is so crazy. now we need a coffee. Yeah. All right, so we managed to grab some coffee on the way back to our accommodation. And as you guys can see, we are staying in an Airstream again. We're actually staying at Yonder Escalante, which is like an Airstream camp. And yeah, this is our little, well, it's actually not so little Airstream. Not little at all. So you have a seating area right here. 
Or it can like count as an extra bed if you have a kid. And then we have a kitchen, we have a microwave and everything. And then we have our double bed right here in the back. I think it looks so cool. So today we're actually gonna take it slow because we have lots of work to do. So I think we're just going to edit. Nicholas needs to edit vlogs and I need to edit some photos for clients. But tomorrow we're going to Zion National Park. We're super excited because we've never been. Tonight there's actually a movie night. So they have an incredible like a drive-in kind of theater with vintage cars but we'll show you that later now i guess we'll just take our laptops out and get some work done okay although we do have some food options in our uh, accommodation we decided to come to a little restaurant so there's only about like four places where you can grab some food here in escalante tonight we're going to have mexican we already decided <laughs> but now we're gonna grab a salad or something i think it's called escalante Outfitters, like Escalante Urban Outfitters, outfitters is like the shop store, next and then store. next to it and they, they do have pizzas and salads and sandwiches. Yeah, so let's have a look. Cafe closed today. I guess this is not gonna be it. Do we go to the Mexican anyway? Yeah, let's go Mexican. I wanted pizza. Okay, so in the end, we ended up not eating Mexican, but we just took one of the homemade salads that we could buy here in our Airstream camp, and... It's so good. It's to be so good. honest, this is one of the best salads I've had since we're in the U.S. Which, so it's not that hard. Yeah, but it's really good. Like, it has sweet potato, it has mommy beans. Like, it's, it's, a re it's, it's what I would make at home. After this, we're gonna go for a little swim because it is so hot outside yeah. and, and the pool looks work. so inviting. The pool looks really inviting. Today is a really hot day. Yeah. I didn't expect it this morning, it was so chilly. Well, things change, my babe. After our little swim, we're gonna go in town and grab some Mexican food before our little movie night. Okay. Gonna give you guys a little sneak peek. Oh, it's really cool. We're a bit tired. Yeah, I know that our life sometimes looks like one big vacation, but I'm a little bit stressed at the moment. I mean, it's been a super fun trip, but we haven't been working a lot I need to edit so much and do all our emails and everything so i'm a little bit stressed yeah shot a little too many campaigns mm -hmm. and then really put in the time to edit everything exactly. so now we have to play catch now up now it's like I, I some somehow like ignored it a little bit the work and now that we're doing a work day it's like all coming on my shoulders and yeah it's all good but it's just i'm a bit stressed that's fine <laughs> Nothing a little Mexican food can cure. When my head is full of questions And the sky is full of rain When I'm worrying about what I can't change I take a look at my... Alright guys, after a lovely little Mexican meal It's time for... It is movie time! So, as we said, they have a drive-in cinema here with all like these it's not an actual drive-in because the vintage cars are already here and you can just like pick one and watch a movie how cool is that all right guys it is time to go into our cozy little bed it is so cozy look at that this place is so cool honestly it's really really cool it makes me want to buy an airstream we have a van that we almost never use anymore and now we want an airstream yeah but yeah we're going to sleep now and tomorrow we will wake up early because we are going to Zion National Park. Woo See you guys tomorrow. Woo. Okay guys, we made it to Zion National Park. Good morning. It is the next day and to be completely honest with you, we kind of miscalculated how far away Zion was. We wanted to come here very early, but it's already 11 a.m. Because yeah. yeah, we just drove three and a half hours to get exactly. here. Exactly. Zion is so busy. It is so touristy. We're just like driving through. There's traffic everywhere it's insane we have standing seen... in front of a red light now inside the national park that's how crazy so it is. strange honestly but yeah the view so far they look really nice really cool the weather is Amaze balls. After days of like bad weather, this is great. We are going to do a short hike. We're gonna do a short hike because it's the middle of the day already. 
and we want to test out how hot it is so we're just gonna do a, a one mile hike. hike first very short and depending on how we feel afterwards we can we do might one. do a bigger one okay but anyway we'll see you on our hike Okay, we're almost there and I already stole Nicholas's gap. <laughs> I was planning on taking mine with me, but I didn't. Now I stole it, but we're almost there. We can see people there taking photos already, so we think it's there. It's actually a pretty easy hike. So There's easy. quite a bit of shade as well. Just in general, it's too hot. It's bad time of the day. Yeah, it wasn't too smart of us. I think we're just gonna keep it with this hike. But yeah, excited to see the view. Let's have a look. You guys, we are so, so hot. This is insane, this heat. Imagine looking like this after a one mile hike. <laughs> it's insane. It's now one o'clock. It's 106 degrees. Feels like 120. Honestly, I can't even talk. This is so hot. It's crazy. I don't think we'll be doing another hike. This is just insane. It's just not fun anymore. I think and we're just gonna try and find something to eat and then check in into our new accommodation, which is actually pretty special and pretty nice. Yeah, very nice. <sighs> My head is not functioning. I need iced coffee. I'm going to say something and so many people are gonna hate us for it. I have an unpopular opinion and I, okay, you're gonna say it, but you haven't hiked too much. Okay, but in general, Zion is beautiful, but I'm not like crazy impressed. This is like the least favorite place that we've done on this trip. For me personally, there are too many people so when you're on a hike True. you're constantly like following other people having other people behind you you're yeah. seeing other people which for me personally takes away a bit of like the beauty of mm -hmm. doing a nice hike and i mean yeah. we've been stuck in traffic now the whole time we're vlogging this so, so that's yeah. another thing i yeah. don't really like about zion but other than that i mean it's obviously of course very it's beautiful. beautiful but it's our least favorite national park all right guys so in the meantime we have made it to our accommodation for the next two nights and we are actually staying in a tented camp in under canvas those who have seen our moab vlog that went live two weeks ago uh we stayed in their moab property as well and we loved it so much that we decided to come to their zion camp as well i'll quickly show you around Yahoo! That's Sorry, my girlfriend. She's a little bit crazy sometimes. But yeah, let's show you guys around. So we have a little terrace here with some chairs. Uh, we've got some firewood here in the corner. Then inside we have two chairs here. Then we have our bed. And what's really cool compared to our stay in Moab is that in this stand we have a stargazing roof. So you can just lay under the bed. Your head is right here. And then this is completely transparent. So at night we can just switch the stars. I think that's really really cool and we obviously have two bed stands like bed tables i don't know how you say it night stands night stands <laughs> that's it um and we have a ventilator each we have a lamp um and then we have a wireless charger because there's no electricity here then here we have a little fireplace which we won't be using it's so hot and i also don't think it's even allowed now because there is like fire danger and then here we have our little bathroom so we have a sink over here a little mirror and then here is our shower i'm gonna go in it with my slippers now. so you just pull the handle and then water comes out I'm not gonna do that now with the camera and then here we have a toilet and yeah that's it we have views from everywhere on zion okay so now i think we're just going to get some work done and just relax a little bit after exploring zion and then for sunset it's worse time again i feel you already know like everywhere we go we just do s'mores by the fireplace. There's also a restaurant here in the tented camp, so we're gonna try that out first and then as a dessert, we'll sit by the fire, do a couple s'mores. You know the vibes by now. Mm -hmm. All right, so we're going to have an early dinner tonight. We have like a little appetizer. Oh. <laughs> A bit windy but yeah we're having a little appetizer first before we have our dinner so we have a little charcuterie platter or how do you say it? charcuterie now a meat and cheese platter that's how they say it in america and this is our view wow 
Okay, also got a nice burger here and some roasted cauliflower. Mm. Honestly, to be in the middle of nowhere, this food looks pretty darn good. Really good. Here in the US, most of the cheeses that we get, it's like this plasticky cheese, you know, that they put on the burgers. This cheese, I think it's manchego, I'm not sure. But it's like a real cheese. You okay. heard it you heard it from the cheese boss. Mm. But yeah, we're just gonna eat now and then we'll take some pictures for sunset. That's why we're eating so early as well. Mm -hmm. And I think we're gonna call it a night pretty early. Oh no, we're gonna eat some s'mores, but after that we're gonna go to bed because both of us are pretty tired. Lots of driving, lots of hanging around in Zion National Park. So yeah, we're going to bed early. <music> Maybe you will find me fun day. So it's our last day in Zion already. We're only here for like a short time away for two nights. Today we're actually not going to vlog because... Taking a little break. Taking a little break from vlogging because we have been vlogging almost this whole trip. I feel like we have been behind this camera for a lot. Well, we've mostly been in front of this camera, but Laura has some difficulties with behind and in front. So. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> but um, yeah, so we decided we're not going to vlog today to give us some time off. So after this, we are going to Valley of Fire. We're going to Vegas only very very short because we really don't like Vegas actually and we're going to Death Valley We're heading back to the coast. There's so much still coming up before we end this trip So just make sure to subscribe if you don't want to miss our upcoming videos Yeah, thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed this short video. I'm Nicholas and I'm Laura and we'll see you in the next one